Hey guys, check this out. Probably the best news I've seen in crypto over the past month. Let's take a look at this. This on-chain indicator suggests Bitcoin still only one third into the bear market. Now, this is a big opportunity because this is a big opportunity for everyone that passed up on the last bear run to take advantage of this. Let's dive into what uh, this article is saying. The Bitcoin long-term uh, holder may suggest that the crypto has still gone one third of the way through the latest bear market. They're saying the Bitcoin 20 day uh, SMA long term holder SOPR has been 86 days into bottoming zone. So they're using a couple indicators here to kind of compare uh, what happened in the last bull run and going into the bear run and to what happened now as well so looking here looking at the indicator what they're saying this is by far is the greatest news ever because everyone's kind of in a panic right now if you say oh i gotta accumulate as much before you know we reach the bottom oh my goodness it's pumping up i think it's the bottom and that's not the case if you look at people that have been through a bear market before not someone that's just gotten to crypto the past 12 months someone that's been through an extreme bull run when Bitcoin ran up to 20K, then went all the way down to as low as $3,000. We're looking at this and we're like, we don't think it's over. So uh, looking here and he's using a lot of indicators. This by far, take a look at this article. I have this article in the description here. And this is definitely something to take a look at because this is a huge opportunity for everyone to get things at a discount because we may never see these prices again. So you imagine when Bitcoin goes to 100,000, we may not see the prices like this again, you know, on a pullback, especially as more money continues to pour into the market, especially as you look at, you know, where Bitcoin is right now compared to other world assets. We have this uh, up here. Bitcoin is 0.4 trillion, not even a trillion dollars yet. If you look at comparison to gold at 11 trillion, S&P 500, 36 trillion, global equities at 110 trillion, global debt at 300 trillion, global real estate at 325 trillion, Bitcoin still has a long way to go. So when you're thinking about, you know, will Bitcoin hit 100,000? Bitcoin isn't even at 1 trillion yet. Ima just imagine if it just reaches even close to gold. That alone would be a $250,000 Bitcoin. Okay. So that alone shows you how early we are in crypto as a whole. When we look at price action, we look at people being able to take profits and make life changing wealth. So that's to, in comparison, that's something you want to take a look at because we're just getting started here in the crypto space. Crypto fear greed uh, fear is at 30. Uh, it's been there for a couple of days now. Um, and, you know, I'm still in phase looking at the markets, Bitcoin hovering still around 23,000 and uh, continuing to just be in that range. Pretty boring. Some latest news on Voyager, though. So they're saying yesterday the court approved a proposal to restore access to cash held at Metropolitan Commercial Bank for benefit for Voyager customers. They are anticipating resuming access to in-app cash withdrawals starting August 11th. So we'll see what happens. Uh, we'll see if there's any delays. We'll see if this is probably the first, uh, the first project that had to halt withdrawals that actually seen, uh, you know, give a date on resuming withdrawals. So we'll see what happens with Voyager. I hope people are able to get their funds and learn from this lesson to not keep your coins no matter what the gains are you know <laughs> if you're staking you can stake your coins and keep your private keys like look at cardano on on dataless wallet you can stake your cardano and don't have to surrender your cardano or give your you know or or lose lose your access and be able to maintain that uh ownership so take a look at that you know there's no amount of gains that's why i missed out on celsius you know i had friends uh, hit me up and saying, oh, you can 3%, 4%. I'm like, man, it's, I don't want to give up my crypto. So, you know, and I dodged a bullet with that one. So uh, hopefully that works out. Um, taking another look at, you know, kind of a strategy that people are using, uh, you know, as we talk about the ETH merge is, you know, people are saying you can borrow ETH ahead of the merge against USDC and get U, uh, EUL distribution. If uh, POW... Uh, which is proof of, proof of work ETH has value, then you get to keep your USDC and the uh, EUL 
on the proof of stake chain you're, and you can use that and repay the loan. So on the proof of work chain, you walk away with a uh, proof of work ETH and abandon the worthless USDC. So that's definitely a strategy people are using with the merge. I know uh, Vitalik Buterin is calling out, you know, uh, Ethereum uh, hard forks saying they're trying to make a quick buck. I mean, this isn't the first time Ethereum has been forked. I mean, look at Ethereum Classic. You know, Ethereum Classic is actually the original Ethereum. So uh, it's similar to with Terra Luna. Um, you know, this isn't the first time Ethereum has been forked. So, uh, you know, they're saying they're trying to make a quick buck. I mean, you're changing the entire network. They're actually, I, I was reading, there's a bunch of people that are against moving to proof of stake. Um, they, they enjoy mining Ethereum. They've made a living mining Ethereum. And, you know, they do not want Ethereum to move to proof of stake, which which is like mind boggling to me, but because proof of stake far is by far a superior, <laughs> superior way to run a network. Right. Um, and we've seen that with Cardano and not having that, that bandwidth problem. Right. So, uh, but looking here, there are definitely a handful of people and, uh, that do not like the, the, the transition. And you got Justin Sun here saying, we currently have more than 1 million ETH. If Ethereum Harford succeeds, we will donate some of the forked ETH, uh, to uh, ETH community and developers build Ethereum ecosystem. So that's definitely something to look at. Justin Suns just always seems to be lingering around. Um, I really think that he has so much potential, but I think that it just never, I don't, I haven't seen anything that has actually, you know, uh, felt like fell through and actually, you know, been able to benefit anyone outside of just hype. And, you know, he's definitely a great marketer. So, um, but you know, right now, a lot of people are using, um, using Tron to, you know, do different things. Most of them are a lot of, a lot of scammy situations, but I just think, I just thought Tron really was, you know, especially back in like 2018, you know, when I got into crypto, I thought Tron had a lot of promise. It doesn't really seem to be living up to the hype that was put around Justin's son. And, you know, just the fact that he had ties to like Alibaba and, uh, you know, very connected guy. But it, overall, it doesn't seem like those connections are playing out within the crypto space. But Tron does maintain to be in the top like 20 elite top 10, top 20. So we'll see. We'll see what Tron does. I'm not necessarily a fan of Tron. I did have Tron for a while, especially in the first first bull run I went through in a uh, uh 2017 2018 um, I started accumulating Tron right at the beginning of the bear market um, but Tron was probably like two cents or so you can even look at it here but it's you know it did yeah that big pump I remember this huge pump around Christmas and then it went up to 20 cents and really just never seen anything close to that uh, did pump up to about 17 cents before so you know I don't know we'll see maybe I'll go dive into Tron again um, but that's all the mark quick market update for you guys. Hope you guys got some value out of this video. This is an exciting time to accumulate crypto because at least at least now you have like the history, at least now, like even just looking at Tron, at least now you see like what happened in 2017, 2018, Bitcoin pumped up 20 grand. You see what happened with this pump up to 60, uh, 60 K with Bitcoin. And so now you have like a framework of what to do in a bear market. So this is a beautiful thing. Hope you guys are taking advantage of this. And for us, we're actually going to do a challenge. See how high we can flip a couple accounts, uh, you know, really by just accumulating during this bear run. I think we'll do one with a thousand. We'll do one with five thousand and we'll do one with ten thousand. So um, we'll definitely see how high we can get it. How can we flip an account? I think 100 K is the target. Um, I think that's definitely a target for 10 K. Um, being able to flip 1K to uh, 100K will be interesting. So definitely interested to see if we can do this again during this challenge. So hope you guys got some value. Keep moving forward in everything that you do, and we'll see you soon.